going on, everybody? Welcome to episode 22 of our Lazio career mode, and today we have got a couple of games for you. Four in the league, and the next episode will be the Copia Nazionale. Um, and then we head into January. We're not going to do anything in January unless something wild happens. But today we've got Spal, Crotone, Sassuolo, and Torino. Um, one of, I believe it's one of Spal and Crotone. Yeah, Sassuolo and Torino up there. Um, Spal, Grotone are 19th, so they will be the team we sim against today. But other than that, we've got four games in the league. Um, we'll take a look at the league table um, before we go. Three points out of Juventus, seven ahead of Napoli. Napoli fell off a little bit last episode, um, but we'll take that all day long. So let's jump into this. Um, and for those interested, FIFA 20 for me will be starting on the 19th is when I get my copy of the game or I get to use EA Access, I don't get an early copy of the game, unfortunately. Um, that is when I will be able to play it, and that'll be when the new ones start. So to finish this one up, I counted it out, it'll probably be nine-ish episodes, and since there are six or seven days until then, there'll be a couple days where we get two uploads, because I want to be done with this before we jump into the Liverpool and Watford one. So hopefully that works out for everybody. So let's jump into this one here. Can I make a couple of changes a couple of players who are a bit tired Chiesa probably won't come off the bench um Carrasco probably won't either Toloi can play we'll probably go about it that way he fell off pretty quickly Lulich which is a shame but still usable and uh still in a good nick of form so let's jump into it Spal Lazio let's go taken away one more inside nicely done Forward. Can we get it to Immobile? He's started to make the run. And Immobile is going to get him behind the defender. Oh, and it's a really good save. Oh, one on one with the goalkeeper there. But he's done really well, the goalkeeper. Make himself big. Finds Immobile on a really good run here. And he's Immobile. Looking for just an opening to get a f man. And it's come across as Kochu and. What an opportunity and a poor, poor finish. Jesus. Immobile. One more. Lulich. Can he find Lukaku? Not the man I tried to find. Tried to find Lukaku first time. It's Lukaku here looking to get it in his Kaiseido. And it's a great save. It's a bit straight at him to be fair. But the reflexes to go ahead and save that did really well. Nice. Immobile, can we get an opportunity before the half comes? This is going to fall to Lulich. Lulich going to take this. Does so well. Does so well, Lulich, and it's a great save. Oh, Immobile couldn't finish it off. Lulich did all the hard work. Did so well. We couldn't find the net, and we found it on the corner. It's a chair, but he finds the breakthrough. A deserved breakthrough, let me tell you. And the center back off the corner. It's 1-0 here. And, uh... The resistance broken here for Spal. And we, as we've said, absolutely dominant so far and deserving of what the scoreline says, at least. It's 1 0 as we're about to enter halftime. It's forward. Ooh. Oh, I've left him on side. I tried to catch him offside. What a save. It's going to fall back, and what a nice little chip. That is a brilliant little chip there from the Spal man. Is Bril and Bolo leveling it up here for Spal? There's some decent players here: Enzo Perez, Kurtic, and Bolo. That was a lovely little finish. I've let that happen all on my own. It's a nice hit, a good save, but look at this chip. He's just gonna chip it over the back line there. Goalkeeper nowhere. After what we left him, we left him on the island early. He fell down on that island, and with an hour or a half hour to go, we're level. Coming forward. It's nicely done. Lovely football. Wow, what a save. Lovely stuff from Spal there. Forces a save out of Strakosha. As we make a couple changes. Corner to come in. They make a couple as well, but oh, a bit lucky there. He's turned inside. Done really well. What's going on here? How did he keep on going? 
Two, two. I've made subs too. Ugh. I normally make them at the 60 minute mark. How in the world did he keep on going by? It's a lovely finish. It really is a great finish, but all the work down to the winger there. And all of a sudden, we've got a bit to do. 20 minutes to go. It's 2 2. Brewster. They're defending with their lives back here. Can we get it out wide? We can. It's Lukaku. And Lukaku, can he find him? He can. Oh, no, he cannot. I thought he did. And that might do it. And we're going to drop points again. Not a great run of form in the league lately. 2 2 here. Not great. We had to make changes, and then when we were 2-1 up, I made a couple of changes. I probably didn't need... Well, I shouldn't have necessarily. Immobile came off and things. He was getting a little bit tired. Uh, not great. Not great. Not great. And we are uh, dropping more points. We'll see what happens to Juventus, but that can bring them within one not great <laughs> and uh milan and napoli can get closer and we're kind of bringing everybody back into it we had a pretty big lead a couple games ago and now not so much we'll see what happens with juventus and uh napoli milan are with an eight now as everybody kind of gets a touch closer napoli can get within five juventus can get within one so tight 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 stuff Risk of losing three players. I'm not too, too interested considering we can uh, go and do something about... Well, we're not going to need to do anything about that because the season coming, or the season we're in, is the last one. So let's take a look right before we sim our game against Crotone. I believe that's how you say it. And it's one point. It is one point for Juventus and five points for Napoli. Ugh, we need to win this game. It's a simmed game. Who were the three players? Bastos, Caicedo, and Cataldi. I would I would normally keep a hold of them. Um, a big game here. Napoli. Oh, we have a chance to go three ahead of Juventus, who have only drawn their game in hand. And then Napoli are within two of us. So this is a pretty big game at the moment. Not on a good run of form in the bottom three. We're top of the league. Good start. Alberto grabs a goal. We need to win this one. I believe we're the only game on this Monday. Should be the only game. Come on, I need a second here. I would really like a second goal. Is it coming? Yeah, now we're gone. Still the third minute goal separating us. And there's Correa's second goal. It's going to finish 2-0. We'll take it. We will definitely take it as we move forward here. So now we're going to move into January, I believe. And uh, as we said, nothing will happen unless we do something major or unless a major bid comes in. We won't be doing anything ourselves, so it won't be too, too big of a deal. But let's jump into the next game. The next game is Torino, I believe. It's either Torino or Sassuolo. We'll see. We'll take a look right now, but we're going to jump right on into that game. Instead of simming all of our way there and me waffling on about nothing. So it is Sassuolo. So let's jump into it. Sassuolo. We got Bene Benevento again in the cup, by the way. So let's jump into it. Lazio, Sassuolo. Let's go. Carrasco. Get it out wide. We can. Is Chiesa going to run right at this defense? Leaves Sabitza open, and Sabitza puts it into the back of the net, and an early goal for us. Our first attack of the game, four minutes gone. And Sabitza grabs himself another goal, scoring more and more a bit lately. And we'll definitely take that, the new summer signing. Taking a little bit to kind of really start dictating things, but he's starting to do that a little bit more now as he grabs himself another here. Chiesa with a great run, and that's what we like him for. That pace is deadly. And here we are, 1-0 up. It's coming back. Can Sassuolo make something here? Get a touch on and take it away. Not the ball out I needed there. And there's a bit of space. Knew that was coming. As soon as he went into that gap, it's 1-1. They've barely been a part of this Sassuolo, but a poor giveaway on our end. And it's 1-1. We give the ball away a lot. <laughs> Trying to play out. We're... We are, uh stubborn when it comes to playing out the back 
And look at that gap. Just too much space. Fired it into that corner. And we're level again. Nicely done. Uh, not the ball I wanted, but the ball we get. It's done well enough. Immobile. Find Sabitza. One more. Nicely done. Can we find Chiesa? We can. And Chiesa's in a good spot. Lovely finish. 2-2. Two -two. Pulled it back. A wild first half we're having here. And I've accidentally skipped through the... Oh. Skipped through. It was lovely football. Worked it out wide. It's a great finish. Low and away. 2-2. Two -two. Replay skipped on... That's my fault. I wish I could turn off skipping replays just in general. But sometimes it's just natural for me to pop that button. But in the end, 2-2. Two -two. Saw it in real time. We're in a good spot. We need to score again. There's plenty of space for us here. Sabitza gets it out there. Can we get it to Chiesa? We can. And Chiesa looking for his second in a couple minutes. He gives it to Immobile instead. And just like that, we're 3-2 to the good. A couple goals in five minutes there. I'm not going to skip this one. It's 3-2. We're ahead. And going into halftime with a lead. It's nicely done. Chiesa over here looking for similar position but a bit wide. And he finds Immobile on the turn inside. And Immobile making no mistake. 3-2. Nicely taken away. In a good spot. Nicely done is Sabitza. Sabitza's going to run. Turns into a lovely space. And what a finish from Sabitza there. It's 4-2. His second of the game. And we create a little bit of breathing room there. Lovely goal. It's just beat the man. Turned him inside. And it's a lovely finish from the German. It's nicely done here. It just... Stands him up, skips inside, and a lovely curled finish beyond the goalkeeper, 4-2. Sabitza, one more, out wide, Chiesa, that's Chiesa, just running right at this back line, in behind it, and Chiesa turns inside, oh, and it's touched the goalkeeper, but it's in off the post anyway, it's 5-2, and we are running away from Sassuolo here, 5, we've scored in 6, 55, 58 minutes there just flown by but Chiesa gets in behind nobody to see he just turns inside has a go himself and it hits off the goalie's foot and goes right into the back of the net off the post just couldn't keep it out it was going in anyway of course but another goal for Chiesa two for him two for Sabitza and we are on our way oh it's end of space a third. Oh, that's a couple times they found that gap there where they've pulled the center back in the middle forward, a Cherubi, and then just laid it into that space. It's 5-3. 25 minutes to go. We still hold a two-goal lead. Eight goals shared, but that's what's gone on. Happens all the time where a Cherubi gets pulled, and then there's just a huge gap, and they've been exploiting it today, Sassuolo. And it's 5-3. Correa, he finds Chiesa here, and Chiesa... With his pace, going to run up this wing, though he's running out of energy here. Chiesa does well, turns. Can he get it to Immobile? He can. Immobile, out wide. Milinkovic Savage. And it's one more on here. Chiesa's going to get to that. He's going to chip it in. Correa! Lovely stuff. 6 3. And that is going to be game over. That's lovely stuff. It's good football. Good wing play. Good. Good movement, good passing. And Chiesa's just been tearing it up out there today. Just a lovely little chip ball in. A great finish from Correa. And three points here. 6-3. We've uh, upped it a little bit. Last time we played Sassuolo, it was 3-3. We've gotten a little bit better. Not defensively, though. As Correa has a go. Not too far away. Just a minute and a half. We've got Torino next. Hopefully we can go ahead and keep this run up. We'll see if Juventus or Napoli have dropped points. Ideally they have. Smolinkovic Savage was looking for a seventh, but we're not going to go ahead and get it. And there it is, the final whistle, 6-3. An emphatic victory. After going behind, really, we were 2-1 down, weren't we? Um, Juventus are beaten by Milan. That's a huge result for us. That is a really big result for us. I don't see Napoli on there. So we'll have to wait to see what their result was, but that's a big, big result. As you can see, we're six points ahead of Juventus now. Um, Napoli have a chance to go five beyond or five behind us, but 
That is a huge result. And we have the team from Milan to thank for that. So we've got one more game to come. Torino, a tough, tough opponent. Always up toward this side of the table. And hopefully we can go ahead and grab ourselves another win. So let's jump into it. Lazio and Torino. Can Immobile get this ball out here? He can. Chiesa. Can he find Immobile? He can. Immobile can get it across the goal. And oh, what a defensive tackle. Let's come back in. Immobile. Oh, he's not going to pick that out, is he? Or he's not going to block that, is he? And then pick that out. Two phrases stuck together. Not going to pick that out. He should. It's 1-0. What a goal this is. It's a great block there. Let's come back. And this is the ball that's been killing us the last couple of games. But Immobile, make sure we do it against them this time. This is some finish. Look at that. What a goal that is. That's such a great finish from Immobile. And it's 1-0. Holding on to it. Correa, nice turn. Immobile. Here's Correa. Can we get it to Immobile? He can. A lovely ball. Immobile, that's a great save. Oh, lovely stuff. It's good football from us again. We're playing some lovely stuff now, but... A good save from the Torino man. More. Nicely done. Savage. He's all alone. Has a pop and that's a great save. Picking and probing here. Looking for a second goal to give us a bit of space. Corner to come in for Torino. It's hooked in. Can we get the header out? We can. It's going to have a second go at it. Decent football. It's a huge block. And another corner to come. Hooked in. Oh, he gets the header on it. Wow, what a save. Oh, not very far away there. It's a great save from Strakosha, and we cannot get the ball out on these corners. Got to get the ball out of here. And we do, finally. Savage. Nicely done. Can we get it to Immobile? We can. And Immobile, can he get that back post? What a ball. What a ball from Immobile there, whose passing is normally not so great. That is some ball. And Chiesa with the tap in at the back post. 2 0 up here. 25 minutes to go. And we are on some good form. Playing pretty well today. So that ball goes in. Look at this. Lovely. No chance for the goalkeeper. No chance for the defender. Chiesa puts it into the back of the net. And we're 2 0 up. Here they come forward. Baselli. Torino. Not really been a threat today. Baselli looking to change that. As soon as I say that, they've pulled one back. It's 2 1. Oh, God. That's so annoying. <laughs> As I was saying it. Barely been a part of it. Aaron Gies, the goal scorer, I believe. But there's a chance now. It's a lovely ball in. It's a lovely ball in. It is Aaron Gies with the goal. It's 2-1. Ten minutes to go. Let's not blow this. Immobile. One more. Can we get it through the middle there? We can. And he's going to get it. Nicely done. Lovely. And can we finish this game off? Oh, we just blocked it just before it got to the goal. Whether the goalkeeper would have got it, we won't know. But that was so close. Ron done. He's barely had a sniff. One more. Oh, not where I wanted it to go. But we get a little bit lucky. Linkovic Savage. Can he get it to Immobile? He can. Immobile turns. One more. There it is. It's Chiesa. Can he seal this game up? Oh, and it's just wide. Oh, that should have been that. Another goal for Chiesa. It should have been. And with three minutes to go. Two and a half. We just got to see out this added time. Can we win that header? A big old header. There's Lulich coming forward. And can we get it up the wing? Here we can. It's Immobile is going to hold on to it. And that might be that. Torino probably not going to get it back. As I try to cross it in. Probably didn't need to do that. But that will do it anyway. A 2-1 victory. Probably a little bit flattering. Toward Torino, but either way, we've got the three points. That is what matters, of course. And we go forward now as Milan draw, and that puts them back a little bit, which is good. We're going to have to take a look and see what the other two teams did as we're into the quarter or the round of 16 in the Copa Nazionale. And we got a decent draw there, um, considering there are only 16 teams in this when you play on FIFA, so not a bad draw there. And hopefully we can do something with it. We're going to advance and then take a look at what we're going to do next episode as well as the table right now. Because I want to see if Juventus or Napoli went ahead and did anything there. So let's see the teams. Torino and Lecce. 
Uh, Roma, Spal, Milan, Sampdoria, Us, and Benevento. Juventus go through, Fiorentina go through, or Cagliari. Inter go through, and Napoli go through. So a lot of good teams already in the round of eight. So let's take a look at the league. And in the league, six points ahead of Juventus, seven points ahead of Napoli. About where we started today, except we've moved a further point ahead of Juventus today, which is good. Ten points back from Milan who don't really seem too much of a threat. But next episode, Benevento, Udinese, Atalanta, and Cagliari. Look at our packed Februarys. We've gotten who we've drawn in the Champions League. It is Dortmund. I forgot about that. I forgot what we were going to do in the Champions League. Dortmund, Lazio, Dortmund. That'll be a decent one there. Let's check out the ties there as well. That's a good, that's a good tie. Villarreal and Liverpool, Paris and Barcelona will play, Leon and Leverkusen, us and Dortmund. Um, what has gone on there? Changed the competition on accident. Okay. Um, and then Roma, Bayern, City, Atletico, Madrid, Galatasaray, Munch and Gladbach, Chelsea, and Madrid. Whew. Some tough teams in there. Um, we're going to have to keep on going. We have a lot of games still to play. And as I said, we want to get this all done before the new FIFA comes out. So there will be a couple double upload days. So um, look forward to that. But that is going to be the end of this episode. I hope you folks have enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more. And peace.